Good day, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the Voice of Reason. Today is February 20th, 2022. Uh, We are continuing our coverage of the uh, ongoing crisis between the uh, Russian Federation and uh, Ukraine and obviously NATO uh, and the uh, West. So uh, big developments are coming in uh, as we speak. Uh, CBS News is reporting that uh, Russian troops have orders to launch Ukraine invasion. And uh, along with that, we're starting to see signs of uh, continued uh, Russian columns moving towards the Ukrainian border. Uh, we are starting to see that uh, that mysterious Z painted on the sides of uh, some of these Russian vehicles uh, for uh, uh, quite possibly a variety of reasons, but it's it's definitely ominous. Uh, other media outlets are also now starting to report that uh, on that same story that indeed. Uh, Russian generals have been given the order uh, to launch an invasion. So uh, uh, initially, uh, depending on what the uh, the objective is, and again, it's, it's very hard to ascertain uh, what the initial war goal is actually going to be. Uh, I think uh, in terms of uh, uh, initial activity, it would seem reasonable uh, that you would initially see uh, large-scale cruise missile strikes. You would see uh, uh, aircraft being uh, sortied against uh, Ukrainian positions, especially uh, air defense positions, uh, in terms of uh, uh, the uh, the suppression of uh, enemy air defenses. Uh, that sort of activity we can expect to see uh, quite early. Uh, now, does that mean that we will initially see uh, Russian tanks uh, moving across uh, the border. I know some of the Sunday uh, talk shows have been uh, asking the Secretary of Defense, and and he is stating yes, he believes that we we will eventually see Russian tanks uh, quite possibly entering uh, Kiev. Now, I, I don't think that's going to occur early on in in this conflict, uh, uh, and and again, that is depending on if. Uh, the uh, Russian intelligence services are able to pay off uh, some of these uh, Ukrainian generals. Now, if that happens, uh, quite possibly we could see that happen uh, fairly early on. Uh, But if that doesn't happen and the Ukrainian military uh, remains a cohesive fighting unit, uh, then obviously uh, that's going to change uh, the uh, the war strategy for the Russians, depending on what exactly their war goals are. So again, is it a question of are they looking to seize control of Kiev? Are they looking to take areas in uh, the eastern uh, separatist areas? Are they looking to uh, create a land corridor to Crimea? You know, what is the military objective? Are they looking to seize control of Kharkiv? Again, it all depends on what ultimately the military objective is of the Russian Federation. So, again, obviously, uh, orders are going to come down from the Kremlin. It's going to circulate its way down to uh, corps commanders, uh, divisional commanders, uh, battalion commanders, brigade brigade battalion commanders, uh, and and then on down, depending on what exactly uh, the operation is. And we don't really know what that looks like uh, at this point, uh, if indeed. Uh, set operation is is actually uh, getting ready to to, uh, to commence, but uh, that's the news right now. Uh, again, CBS is reporting that uh, Russian commanders have been ordered uh, to invade Ukraine. Uh, more to come very soon as we watch this very very closely. Have a good day.